Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to make a start on the opponent health. Now, we did actually create the script in a previous lesson when we were actually enabling and disabling scripts. But we never actually put any code into it. So, that's what we're going to begin this time. Now I'm going to make these of type public for now. I will change them to private but this is just for testing so we can see it in the inspector. So public int underscore minimum and let's say opponent health we can make that equal to zero into the comments defines minimum opponent health. Let's just copy and paste that in. And obviously we're going to change to maximum. We'll give this a value of 100. Remembering to change the comment. Let's paste the line in again. And now we're going to change to current. And we can get rid of the zeros and the equal sign. And in the comments, we'll change it to say defines naming convention for opponent's current health private bool underscore is opponent defeated let's close that line off into the comments create a bool to define if the opponent has been defeated now that's all the variables we're going to use for the moment let's come to the void start underscore current opponent health is equal to underscore maximum opponent health let's close that line off into the comments set current health to equal maximum on startup will come below is opponent defeated we're going to make that equal to false again close the line off set is opponent defeated to false on start up and now we're going to come to the void update and a little word of note, I'm only putting this code in the void update for now. We will move this out into a separate function at a later date as we add more to the opponent health. But just for now, we're going to say if open and close brackets inside the brackets, a p underscore is opponent defeated. If it equals true, let's put that into the comments. If is opponent defeated equal to true, then we do nothing and return. And we'll put that into the comments. And we'll come below if open and close brackets inside the brackets current opponent health 
is less than zero into the comments again if opponent's current health is less than zero will come below underscore current opponent health is equal to zero let's close that line off into the comments then make current opponent health equal to zero so we're just making sure we cannot have a negative value for the health so once we've checked that we cannot get a negative value we'll create another if statement current opponent health is equal to zero into the comments if opponents I'll put current health is equal to zero and actually I want to come to the end of this line and I want to open and close brackets let's just move the comments back into place let's come inside these brackets now so if the health is equal to zero we can set is opponent defeated to equal true close the line off into the comments set is opponent defeated to true so even when it equals zero the first time it's still going to skip over this because is opponent defeated is still going to be equal to false then we make sure that the current health is equal to zero if it is equal to zero then we can set it to true we can input the rest of the code that we only want to run once and because now we've set this to true if it tries to run through this block again it's just going to return and do nothing because we don't want this code running a second time so let's come here we're going to say send message open and close brackets inside the brackets little speech mark set opponent defeated comma now we want to send message options dot don't require receiver come to the end of the line and close the line off we'll break the line in half for commenting into the comments send message and I'll put this in speech marks as well so set opponent defeated to call that function and um, in fact I'll move this to the other line it's more applicable because that's where we actually send it let me come back here so I, I just thought it'd be good to break up the comment but it doesn't really apply to this line so let's come to this line to call that function we can just put receiver let's just put not required
And let's save that off. So now we can test this out, but obviously the current health is going to be equal to the maximum on startup. Now we could alter this a number of ways here, here, or uh, let's change it here. So if opponent health underscore the maximum, which is what it's going to be on startup now, please do not make this change yourself unless you wish to test this script out. Please make sure, if you do, to come back and switch it back to zero after we're done. In fact, we should really be using the naming convention. So I'm just going to replace the zeros with minimum opponent health. Let's just tidy up those comments. Obviously, I'm not going to change this line yet until we've tested it out. So let's downsize that and bear with me. I'm just going to grab my controller. Let's plug it in and then we can run through and test out what we've got so far. So let's come to the resources folder now as you can see i've gone through all the models i have i've assigned the opponent health script and the animations for the opponent as well the opponent ai script please make sure that you add the animations here as well otherwise it will not work so Let's start it up. And because now we've set the script to say if it equals maximum, the opponent is dead and it should send that message to the opponent AI. Round one. And Fight. as you can see, my opponent has done the final hit animation. And everything seems to be working well in the game. We do need to fix the jump on the player movement. I'm not too worried about that because we are going to come back to the player movement. And we will do a lot of upgrading to that. However, this script as we've got now was just enough for testing. Because I know some of you wanted to move on and see some other features. But we will be coming back to the player movement. But as you can see, that what we've done for the opponent and the opponent health now is working really well. So we'll come back to the script. And it's this block here. We need to change that to minimum. And in fact... I'll not break the line up this time. In fact, I think I'll just move the comments out. So they're all in line. They are a little close. So let's just quickly go through. And switch them out. So as you can see, all these are now have the value of minimum opponent health. Let's save this script off. And I think we'll leave it here for this lesson. So... As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.